So I want to ask another qu question, and then I'm going to ask you to talk about pembrolizumab in this setting. Um, you know, you know, I've heard some uh, uh, support for, you know, this effect probably isn't specific to nivolumab. I like nivolumab, so I'm going to use that in this setting versus that. We did have some data with pembrolizumab in a phase two trial. Can you tell us about that? So. Uh this is a Lund group trial where they gave uh, concurrent chemo radiotherapy fairly standard doses and schemes. And interestingly, they allowed the investigators to give up to two cycles of consolidation. There we go, chemo consolidation. <laughs> <laughs> and then they restaged between a 28 to 56 days and then decided in non progressors to go on with pembrolizumab three weeks. So later. very different than the Pacific. Exactly. Yes. And they could go on up to one year. So it's a single arm study. Yeah. So they presented it, and the numbers, the data looks interesting. The pneumonitis rates are what we, one would expect. There's nothing to worry about. The PFS, uh, two-year control rates and all are impressive. But I think it raises a lot of questions. Firstly, um, you know, if you give this long gap and you get the signal that it can't, it's not that bad, is it because of the PD-1, uh, PD-1 or PDL one question? And so if you come back to the Pacific and your patient, in a Pacific eligible patient, is not fit until day 50, uh, should you not give it? So those are the questions that raises my mind. Is it possible to extend that window and not remain restricted to what was in the trial design? But I'm not sure it's a PD-1, PD-L1 thing. Right. Yeah, so others, um, um, would you, I mean, I, 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 in my practice, it's Durvolumab, I wouldn't consider any other agent in that setting? Is that, is that a consensus? With a phase three trial with right. Tovalumab, this yeah. beats up in the moment everything. Yeah. And, and, and I think we have in not, not only stage three, but mostly in stage four, is there a real difference between the PD-1 versus PD-L1 agents? And I think that um, is hard to know. And what we know from the reviews that the pneumonitis rate is lower with, uh, with PD-L1 inhibitors with Tovalumab or Avilumab or um, Atitrolizumab. So I think this is a, a sign that you should use those a little bit better. I, I just want to add that um, the ETOP trial, which we took part in with nivolumab, is the early signs, early data presented, doesn't suggest an increase with uh, uh, pneumonitis if you give nivolumab. We have to wait for the full cohort to be analyzed, of course. But at this point, for radiation toxicity point of view, I have no major concerns. I think we just have to wait for the data, and I agree with you. The randomized high level evidence comes from. Develop map, so we would stick to it. Outside, Thomas. I mean, the other, as we kind of move into early stage disease, I'm going to ask Leora to comment on the recent study we saw with neoadjuvant nivolumab in the um, um, uh, in the pathologic response rates. Seen that that was small number of patients. Yes. But it promising. It, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that was Patrick Ford's data that he presented at AACR and published in New England. Um, and uh, that study showed that there wasn't a high response rate radiographically, radiographically yeah. but there was a significant, uh, almost uh, 40 to 50 percent patients have a pathologic complete response, and so or pathologic response. So how that translates into an OS benefit, I think we'll see with time. Um, you know, the other question is if they don't have that response, should you be giving chemotherapy? adjuvantly to those mm -hmm. patients, and so what do you do? But I think we're going to get those answers because there are several ongoing trials that are looking at neoadjuvant IO alone or IO with chemotherapy, mm -hmm. and there are also multiple adjuvant trials that are that are trying to answer the same question. I think, I think every IO drug approved in stage 4 disease and stage 3 disease is in a clinical trial in the adjuvant setting globally yeah. somewhere, yeah, right? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So we have all these trials ongoing, and whether it's neoadjuvant or adjuvant, I think we'll have to wait for the data. Yeah. Well, neoadjuvant and adjuvant in the same setting, so yeah. if we combine it also. But, but very encouraging data yes, for, from, the, from the Patrick Ford sort of thing.